What is going on everyone? Welcome, here we are on official servers 995 PvE. Now, behind me here we do have two, uh, not underground bunkers, but they're in the base here in the corner. So we have two bunker style type of entrapments here. And why is because, are we showing yet? We are pregnant. Now, my tribe mate and I are both, get rid of my map here. So we both have a baby reaper baby inside of our bellies and we have two separate compartments here so we're gonna get fed and when it does come time to actually pop these things out which is in two hours and 26 minutes mine's a little sooner than his we will be jumping into our own little bunker so they don't kill each other and here's his side here or vice versa whoever comes around whatever one we pick when the time comes but we will be giving birth to reaper babies the parent is a max level 150 r reaper and we are already leveled up to 75, so they will be hatching at 225, and we will have max level re level reapers, so that is pretty sweet. So yeah, our server is doing pretty good here. Here we are running around inside our base, uh, jumping out. Here's our teleporter. There's our neighbor. He is supposed to be doing the boss sometime soon, but he is no longer online, so I'm not sure what he's doing or when he's going to do it. Hopefully, we can get in on that, but... We'll just have to wait and find out. But today, yes, we are going to be hatching some more Reapers. We just got back on the server, and they had one trap. So, yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, server as well. It was the original one that we did start on, and now we're just going to see how this plays out for us because the leg seems to be a lot better than how, uh, what it was previously doing beforehand. Now, I'd, hopefully, we do not lose any more Striders. We did lose two or three on this map already, and that's why we did switch before, but... Now we're back and let's just see how this does play out for us. If you haven't yet, smash the thumbs up, the subscribe button if you are enjoying these episodes. Okay, so we are at 8 minutes and 47 seconds until we do need to pop this baby out. Now we do got to get ready because our hatches is in front. We're going to fill this skiff up with a bunch of meat. Then I'm going to hover it over top, throw it all in my inventory and... Can I reach out from there? No, I can't. Alright, so we're just going to land this thing right beside it. Drop down, there we go. Let's get all this set up, ready to go. Hopefully the stomping upstairs isn't coming through the mic too, too bad. The kids are playing around, but that's all right. So we fill that up with meat. I'm gonna throw it all in the skiff here. Boom, nice, nice, nice. Now I'm gonna have to try to hover this up here because you cannot fly when you're encumbered, so I will not be able to get up here. We could have built a ramp, but uh, just didn't want to. <laughs> I don't know if I could actually land here or not. Oh, so we can land, so that makes it... Uh-oh, what happened? Leg spike or just... I don't know what just happened. We just fell in anyway, It don't matter, though. Good thing we're giving us a little bit of extra time. I don't want to be on here, though. We got, like, a little glitch thing happening. Okay, so we're going to go small. So I should be able to grab all our raw meat here. So raw meat... Uh, we got a little leg spike happening, I believe, unless, you know, it could be anything. Transfer. Okay, let's do the old chat thing. So, yes, we're definitely lagging right now. So, we're going to have to wait for that to kick in here. There we go. So, we got our meat. We're going to open our trap door. I can still move around. What's going on here? I'm not supposed to be able to move. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We got plenty of meat. We're almost encumbered. What am I going? I can't see anything. What is going on? Oh, I'm outside. I'm like glitched out. There we go. That's better. So I'm going to kind of jump down in here. There we go. Can I fly still? Oh, so I could have made it up. So we're just going to shut that door. So we're in our little dungeon here. We're in our bunker. This is where you are going to give birth to our Reaper. And hopefully everything goes according to plan. He will pop out. I will claim him. He'll eat my body and take all this meat into him. I do not have anything else on me, so I do not have to worry about losing anything. Once that happens, and we just let him grow. So yeah, right on, good stuff. Six minutes, 50 seconds to go. Here we go, guys, eight seconds to go. Our belly is looking massive. So this baby alien is about to emerge from our stomach, and here we go. We got a good view? No, we can't. Oh yeah, there it is. So now it's gonna eat us. It's pure red so not crazy cool colors oh we gotta claim this thing i forgot gotta claim this thing there we go we are all claimed now it should eat us up come on come eat me eat me eat me how come you're not attacking me now he will he will there you go come get me one more one more <laughs> 
Let's go. Get me. One more bite. You know you want to. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. Just one more bite. Come take a chomp out of daddy. Before I heal too much. Come on. There you go. That's a good little baby. <laughs> yes, I am going to let that thing do me in. All right, so we are going to spawn at the skiff bed. We're going to take a little peek into the hatch just to make sure everything is good. So in about 10 minutes or less, my tribe mate there will be going under as well. <laughs> so there's my body. I'm hoping my reaper... He did not eat the body yet. He needs to eat the body. He should not be moving. Unless he did. I don't really know. We gotta figure it out though. He needs to eat that body. I can't tell him. I don't know if he ate the body. Let's see here. Alright, so he didn't eat me yet. I should jump down there and find out. I'm gonna double. Let's, we're just gonna check. We're gonna go in there with that crazy thing. Okay, he did eat me. Everything is gone. He's just not encumbered. Check his inventory just to make sure. Okay, so he does have everything. 325 melee, 11,000 health. So. Get up in here. Uh oh. We need to get out of here so he doesn't eat us again. We don't want him to eat this body. Let us out. Let's go. Alright, we're out. We are out. Shut the door. There. Oh, good. So now we're going to wait for him to give birth. There we go. Tribe mate just blew his out. It's crazy running around. Did he claim it? I have to let it eat him. Wow, that thing killed him quick. That didn't take very long. Look at that crazy thing down there. <laughs> so here's our two little reapers that have spawned. Or I guess not spawned, but they're growing up almost ready for an imprint. They're a juvenile stage now. and This is my tribe mates. It looks pretty sweet, actually. Those two-tone, that cyan bluish tinge. It looks mighty fine. And here's my little red one. These two things do look pretty sweet. And that's a crazy. They're both the same parent, and look how different they ended up. So these R Reapers are pretty cool. But while I was away and I logged back in, my tribe mate managed to find a oh, little leg spike there. A mating pair of Tech Rexes. So here we have a male, and over here we have a female. So we're going to breed them. I guess we can just start now. So let's go to behavior here. Enable mating. Go the other one as well. Now these two are going to start mating. You'll see the nice little hearts. So yeah, these two are now in love and they're going to drop out a little egg once their mating process is complete. Now moving on here, we also got ourselves a Giga. So yeah, he got all this stuff from someone else. I believe his name was Ninja. So Ninja, if you end up watching any of these videos at all, thank you very much. That is server 995. So thank you for the Giga and the mating pair of Tech Rex is pretty sweet. Now we can breed a whole bunch of these out. We need more females because the male can stud as many females as you ultimately have. And then Rex eggs can tame, like when you make the kibble, can tame almost anything in the game. So you do need a couple higher tier eggs to actually get some other things. But for the most part, those eggs will tame almost anything. So it is great to stockpile on Rex eggs. So we got those. You got this Giga. We're definitely going to have to take this guy out. Let's just jump on him here. Give him a nice little roar. Let's wait. Let's let's just change the view up a little bit. There we go. Whoa. I don't know how well that turned out. But yeah. So yeah. Gigas are sweet. They are definitely the top of the food chain when it comes to eating anything. You take this thing on a meat run. Everything in front of its bite will die. <laughs> it's just that simple. So yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Six and a half minutes until we do an imprint here. So we're going to wait a little bit. Do that. And then... Maybe we'll take that Giga out. We'll get these bred. I already forgot I had these breeding. So we're going to wait for this egg to actually pop out. 70%. Almost there. Come on. Let's get some egg hatching going on. Uh, we're not going to put any levels in. Let's just check out the stats. This is imprinted, so the stats are higher. So uh, I think you get 10 or 15%. I can't even remember. It's been so long since I did the whole breeding game. But we do have a couple mutations here. This one has two in that line and one in that line the other one i believe is zero and four when i looked at it 
Take a quick peek here. Actually, this is about to pop an egg. 94. Yeah, let's take a quick peek here. So, yeah, zero in this line and four in the paternal line. Okay, this thing's about to drop its egg. Let's take a peek at it. And boom, fertilized tech rex egg right here. Nice. So, we're going to pull this thing out. We don't want it there. If it sits on the ground for too long, then it will uh, despawn from decay. So, we don't want that to happen. I'm going to turn these off and we can breed them again in how long? So we gotta wait 11 hours and 39 minutes before we can mate these two again. We'll just go in and out. It is only the females that end up with the timer and the males don't have a timer. They just keep going. They're studs for life. <laughs> so here's our fertilized tech rag. We're gonna throw that in an egg incubator when we do get that set up. I saw that the base is kind of, let's take a look out here. What he's been going on, what he's been doing. We got some walls going up by the looks of things. Looks like we got some doors happening as well. We'll take a look all the way around here so oh yeah the layers are starting to come so i'm assuming this will turn into one giant building once it's complete so everything will go up all the walls and then we'll probably take down all these walls and it will form one huge building now we got all the materials we should start just throwing up tech behemoth gates but we'll see what happens maybe we don't have anything yet and we still have to get to it he probably needed to make some uh stone ones just to get the layout and all the pieces in the right spots but we can swap all these doors out all these materials eventually we probably will go full tech throughout this whole base but yeah we're gonna wait here what we got going on four more minutes so we'll come back when it is time to actually imprint our reaper eight seconds until this reaper is ready to be imprinted now it is still times three so we should get 70 percent on this thing one zero oh and it's a quick easy cuddles there we go perfect 70 percent so one more imprint which is in four hours and we will be good to go now what should we do here we should put up our incubator or we should wait till we finish this up i don't really know i do want to check out space we need a lot of black pearls Just trying to see if there is a drop anywhere so we know exactly what could be in space right now maybe i could take the skiff out actually you know what i know it'd be even faster why don't we just teleport straight into space and that will tell us directly what is there because we can see exactly what is there no drops around, so this would be the next fastest way. So, jumping into space here, loading in sometime. There we go. Now, what do we got going on here? What is this one? Uh, what? I'm not sure what these ones are now. Uh, okay, I can't picture. I think this is either. Is this ambergris? I don't even know what all this is. Is this sulfur? This might be sulfur. I'm not 100%. Oh, I don't even have my pick to take a look at it. So I'm no expert when it comes to a lot of these. I think that might be sulfur, but I'm not 100% sure. But I've seen a couple of these the same one. Some of them look really close to the same. Let me know in the comments which one that actually is. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know everything. I know some stuff, not everything. Now we'll get back on the ground here so we can use this teleporter. And we'll just shoot right back into base here. There we go, we are back in base. Okay, now I don't know what we actually need to do. We need black pearls, but I'm gonna wait till they're in space, use the mining drill. Uh, we have a decent amount of mutagel, so we're all right on that. And then we need some materials. I don't know, we need something. We gotta get this base up and rolling fairly, fairly fast. We do need a bunch of chitin. Oh, we need obsidian. That's what I'm hoping there's a bunch of obsidian sometime in space so we can stock up, because we do need that for poly. And then we can start making a lot more tech type of tier uh, items and building pieces and whatever else. But yes, we definitely need the poly. We could go and get organic poly and use that. But it's kind of a pain. It has a DK spawner. So it's nice to make just hard poly, especially when you want to buy stuff. So here I am in the bad spot. And we're going to take a look. So these people just have their magnetherium hanging out. Is that a wild noglin? Yes, it is. So I don't really want this thing to attach to my dinos because it will mind control them and they will eat me. So that would be bad. With me, I do have my mag uh, magnetherium myself to get the bugs for the chitin. But I also brought my giga. Now, I am not sure if you can use a giga in here. So I'm just going to go out a little bit. And if that noggle mind controls this giga, is definitely going to wreck our day like bad. This thing will eat us fast. But yeah, I'm going to throw this out here and see if we can actually use a Giga in here. And it looks like we can. So yeah. Uh, oh, Basilisk. Okay, well, you're nothing. See, so 
We're not really scared of anything in here if we can use a Giga, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. We just gobble that guy up like nothing. So there's some bugs. So nice. So here we go. So I'm going to get this thing out. Now, what do we want? We are passive. So I want to use my Magnetherium though, So I, because I did see a bug or something up there. A couple bugs. So we're going to freeze this guy back up again. It was just a quick test. So we are good to go. If we run into any trouble at all, we just throw that gig out and it will save our life. <laughs> now, let's go get ourselves some bugs and get a bunch of chitin. Do a little bit of farming in here. Get a whole bunch of that uh, cementy paste made up. Come on. Now for reaper spawns, again, same thing. We're not going to be running from reapers anymore. We are going to be eating the reapers. Now, I don't have a light pet. That would make it a lot easier, but I don't think we should have any issues uh, fighting the reapers when it, with a giga here anyway. Let's collect all this chitin. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Come on. What do you got? Is that all you got? That's all you got? I want to make sure I do have all this stuff in my inventory just in case we have to do a quick run for it. By run for it, I mean jump off this and throw it our Giga before any type of damage comes in. Now, if we do run into a Noglin, again, uh, that could mind control our dino and then that would just reverse on us and kill us. So if there is a Noglin around, we will have to run. That would be the only time we would have to run in this area. But uh, for the, there's another Noglin. No. Why is there so many Noglins here all of a sudden? Usually I barely see any. Is he coming this way? Is that another one? No. Okay, that's just a nothing. That's okay, so we have... Oh, that's a journal entry there, and that's a basilisk. If I can get that bug to chase us, though. Okay, maybe I will just leave this guy here, and I'll row up. Well, we'll see what actually comes. Um, Let's get our Giga ready, just in case the basilisk decides to come. But I'm hoping that bug comes. Come on, bug. Not the basilisk. Come on, bug. Aggro. Whoa. We lagging? I don't know what's going on here. We're just trying to... Okay, Basilisk came. Are you coming? Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. He's throwing his poison. All right. Now what? Come get us. Come here, Mr. Basilisk. Oh, no. I don't want that. Stop it. We're like... We're too big for this area, but that's okay. We want to kill this Basilisk, but we do not want to kill the buck. Okay, good to go. He is gobbled up. Freeze this guy back up, and we will get right back on our Magnetherium and get back to bug hunting. That's what we're here to do. Bug hunt. All right, here we go. And yes, we're off to the races. Uh, where's all the bugs here? Oh, yeah, quite a few bugs. Nice. We got to keep our buff going. Ten seconds. Let's go. Yeah, super strength on the bugs. There we go. Reset our timer. Every time we kill a bug, this thing gets a nice buff. Hey, where'd that snake go? What the heck? Oh, it was hiding out right here. I didn't even see it. Mr. Camouflage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Flag. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Let's get that into the inventory. We'll 300 slot ourselves, and then we'll run back to base. But yes, we're definitely going to 300 slot our inventory. What that means is you can only hold 300 slots, so either you get overweight or... Or you fill up uh, with 300 slots. You'll get that little black anvil since, uh, symbol. And that means you cannot pick up any more items. So that's what we are going to do. Because chitin is really light. So we're going to get 300 slots of 100. Plus minus. Uh, you know we got our cryopods and stuff in there as well. So we won't get the full 300 slots of chitin. But you know we'll get as much as we possibly can. We'll just keep running here. There should be more bugs usually. But it's not looking like there are right now. We'll go around the corner. We can start running into Reapers anytime now. But that's all right. We have a Giga, and it's a lot safer coming in here when we do have one of those things. Really? No more bugs here? Okay. That's all right. Okay. I'm going to go around the corner here. We're going to freeze this guy up. And we're just going to teleport right across where I just saw those Seekers. And that should help us a little bit more. Again, we are an official. There's no single-player mods, no cheats, uh, no extra points or whatever on and everything. Everything is here 100% legit. And I guess we're going to go right in front of this uh, summoner. He's definitely going to see us. If they don't see us when we do that, then I don't know. Oh, there's summoner right there. Summoner right there. No bugs here. Usually there's bugs right here, but oh, there's a bug right there. There's that. 
Oh, it's a snake, not a bug. Okay, I don't want to get bitten. I'll get passed out, fall asleep. Okay, so I'm not seeing... Okay, he's going to see us now. Come on, get in our teleport mode. There we go. We made it. Sweet. So I'm not looking... Or I'm not seeing any more bugs. At least in this area, there's probably more down below. We'll do a quick check here. I don't want to go in too, too much farther. Although it won't really matter. What do we got down there? Besides all those things. Alright, let's get in here. Usually there's some bugs on these ramps. We'll just drop down right about here and check it out. Any bugs? I uh, see a Noglin. No bugs though. Holy, Noglin's all over. Alright, we're just going to blast to the other side here. Quick little blast. And anything on this ramp? Anything at all? What? No bugs. Someone must have been here already because there's not as many as usual. What do we got here? Yeah, not the greatest run so far, but that's all right. It's better than nothing. Hmm. I don't know. We'll just keep going. What is all that stomach acid stuff? What if our gear can walk through there or not? We can give it a shot. It won't hurt, but I don't know. We need bugs. Oh, there's a... Su Actually, you know what? I wonder what happens... Hmm. If we just get seen by a summoner, what happens if we kill one or eat one or whatever? Let's try that. Let's try taking out a summoner with our Giga. See if it's even a thing to do or not. So we're just going to kind of go like this. No, 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 no. Not that. We don't want the Megatherium out. We want our Giga out. We're going to test the power of the Giga in here. Freeze up. Nice. Okay, where is he? Right there. Okay. Boom. All right, Giga, let's go eat that summoner. Let's see what happens if we get right in the summoner's face. Start biting. Okay, are you going to see us? Come on. There, you see us? You start summoning stuff. Jump right in our face. There you go. Now what happens? He ran away. So he's going to summon some stuff down here. I don't know if we actually get drops or not. So that's a good thing to test out here because... We never really fought the stuff he summons out. Okay, kaboom. Okay, what is what's gonna appear here? A whole lot of these things. Now they don't drop anything by the looks of things, so that kinda sucks. Alright, so nothing drops, we can't bite or pick anything up. So I guess we're just gonna have to kill it and see if we get anything or not. Are we even hitting it? There's a little lightning bolt there, does that count as a hit? Oh he's running away. Come on. Oh, he's lightning bolting us. <laughs> I, don't, I can't really see how much damage he's doing. I guess I'll look this way. Oh, he's hardly hurting us at all. Okay, come here, buddy. Oh, he's going to spawn some stuff on us. Okay, spawn some stuff. Did we kill everything? Like, did that mean it's not going to spawn? We're going to let my stamina get up a little bit here and then we'll try some more chomps on this guy. Come here. Stop running away. Stop running away, you baby. All right, let's get around to him. Wide angle turns going on here, so we'll kind of go around. Oh, his shield was down, so we probably could have actually damaged him there. All right, come on. Stop running. Just stand there and take it. <laughs> take it. I don't want to fall. Uh, he's going to summon some more stuff at us. If we eat that ball, oh, well, too late now, but. All right, come Oh, yeah. Done. Did we get anything? We didn't get nothing. Is that summon still going to come up, even though he's dead? Alright, so summoner is no problem killing, but standing there killing everything he summons and stuff just is not worth it at all. So, what should we do now? <laughs> we have no issues. Uh, it is not that scary of a place anymore when you got a giga up your sleeves. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just run the stuff back to base and make some cementing paste and whatever else we need to do. And... We need to get some obsidian, that way we can turn that all into some hard poly. Oh, tribe mate's taking the Maywing for a glide. Crash landing. Oh, there it is. Crash landing. <laughs> is he going out again? Let's see if he takes off again. Is he going? There he goes. Whoa. And down. <laughs> Forgot the gliding part. Is he going to go out? Is he going to take off? It's like a duckbill platypus flying squirrel. There he goes. Uh oh. Into the water. 
That thing swims fast, so look at it, it's like a rocket. <laughs> All right, they're gonna take off, do another glide. Is he gonna glide again? There he goes. Not gonna glide. Come on, glide. There he goes. Glide away. Okay, he's gonna land on the roof. Okay, I'll go for a glide then. Let's go for a glide. We here we go. All right, let's go for a rip. All right, crew. Now let's do a couple circles of the base here. There we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, looking good. Looking good. Keep on going. Keep her coming. Keep her circling. <laughs> I don't know how long we can do this for if we keep the right draft going. That don't matter. Let's take, let's take off this way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We need some more downhill. Need some more downhill for some speed. There we go. And up. Uh, don't stall her out. <laughs> uh oh. We're going down. We're going down. No, we're going up. And we're going to crash. We hit the wall. Oh well. Good enough. That was fun. Now let's get back inside base somehow. Can we go like this and then whip a 180? Oh yeah. Look at that. All right, enough fun. Enough gliding around with the Maywing. Let's take it back into base. Whoa, what happened there? I don't know. We got to get this thing back in base. These things are kind of fun, though. Pretty fun. Uh-oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Uh-oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. We got to go the other way. We'll just have to take the big door in, I guess. Let's take a jump. And then a dive bomb. Boom. That should get us inside. Actually, I guess we could have just froze them up. And put them back in the fridge <laughs> until we need them to raise up all our little baby Rexes. Yeah, I know. I know you're looking at me all cute. I have to freeze you. And goodbye. Open the door. Get in there. All right. Jump. Put them back in the fridge. There you go, Maywing friend. Nice little bit of fun we had going on there. Well, I got my Reaper all imprinted up, so it's at 100%. All that's left is this thing does need to fully grow, and it is ready to ride on this server. Now, Tribe Mate went out, and he actually picked up a little baby Shadow Mane. So right there, you can see, isn't he cute? Just poking his little head out over there. He's on our Maywing, getting taken care of. Now, you don't need to be in the pouch. You can put nursing on, which you can see his nipples are shooting the milk out. And in this range here, we have it turned on. You can turn it off or on. But yeah, this green area here, it'll be fed by the Maywing, uh, whatever's in that area. It's from baby stage all the way up until it hits juvenile. Once it hits juvenile, then you can throw it and it'll eat off these troughs. So this makes even babies a lot easier to take care of. Now I did just mate my Rex just now, the 12 hours up. Now it's 10 hours and 46 minutes to the next one. So we do have two Rex eggs that we can hatch. So we should probably throw up an incubator here and hatch these eggs out because times three is set to end tomorrow. So we probably want to get in as much uh, of that increase of uh, breeding time as possible and maturation which means they grow faster now i gotta find out there is our egg incubator i have no idea where we should put this thing uh it does need to be powered you know what maybe this right back here will probably work so i don't know i'm gonna try it right here and see what happens let's get it kind of right there move it back a little bit boom so there is our egg incubator now i'm not sure what we got to do here check egg hatch requires a hundred so I never use this. We do got to set temperatures. So I'm just going to throw these eggs into this thing and see exactly what happens. So first we'll get them in there and see if we have to adjust any temperatures. Now, as far as I am aware of, unlike air conditioners where it just starts hatching, you have to have everything set to the same temperature. So if you have like eggs that are require a cooler temperature and other ones that require more, then you are going to have to. So there's the current temperature. So we're setting low by the looks of things. So I gotta see what do we gotta do here. So we gotta set this thing higher. Um, temperature, temperature control, 25. Temperature controls. So I guess increase. We're gonna increase temp by five. Does that do something? So now we're too high. So we're gonna drop this down one, I guess. <laughs> Let's just have a look here. Temperature controls. Uh, decrease minus one. One more. One more. Minus one. So that looks like is where it should be. Did the lights change? Okay, so it looks like the lights might. I'm going to crank this up, see what happens here. So I'm going to go temperature control. We're going to increase it by five and see what happens. 
Uh, okay, the lights didn't really do anything, but okay. Maybe I was just seeing things, I don't know. So we're going to decrease this by 5. Alright, so we are looking good. We're in the current temperature of 33 degrees. Incubation boost, 20%. So this increases the speed of incubating. I'm not actually sure how that plays out. Don't know how that works. Egg health, 94. That one was sitting there for a while. So now what do I do? Like, how does this work? <laughs> Where do we see our timers and everything? So everything's taken down. Uh, egg health, egg incubation, 100. Egg hash. Do I got to turn this thing on? I have the temperature set. Do I, does it have to actually be engaged or is it actually, is it working now? I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. Let me know in the comments if you know how to run this. Oh, incubating. I have a timer up there. One hour, 22 minutes. How about this one? 22 minutes, 46, 46. So I'm assuming it's incubating. So we're just going to let this sit for one hour and 22 minutes. And these two Rexes should be hatched. Female Tech Rex egg. Male Tech Rex egg. What? Does it tell you what it's going to be already? That's going to be a male. That's going to be a female. All right. We're going to see if this is play. How is bleh, bleh, Sorry about that. We're going to see if that's how this is going to play out. So I don't know if it's already telling us if it's going to be a boy or a girl. If it is, that's kind of cool. But I don't know. I don't know how that's going to play out. So we're going to wait for this thing to pop out and see exactly what does happen here. Here we are. 10 seconds to go until these eggs are ready to hatch. It was at 15 seconds and it shot back up to like a minute and 20 seconds. So that was a big leg spike. But here we go. Zero. So these eggs should be complete now. They both say 100%. They're ripping there. They're blinking saying, yes, we're done. So now I guess we just tell them to hatch, I'm assuming. So we're going to go into here. We're going to hatch egg. I don't know if we have to target them or what. So hatch. Got to click it. Hatch. Click. Hatch. I don't know what's going on here. Are they hatching? How come they're not hatching? <laughs> not sure what's going on. Why is that? How come they're not hatching? Unless we are in another leg spike. Hatch eggs. Come on. Hatch eggs. Hatch, hatch, hatch. Um, okay, so I'm not sure what is going on here. It's not hatching these eggs for some reason. Unless we are lagging. I don't know. Let's see here. Won't hatch. Okay, yeah. So, hmm. Interesting stuff here. We got some type of glitch happening here. Not sure why these eggs are not hatching. It says incubation. One of a hundred. So maybe it's not quite done. Maybe we are in a leg spike. Something's going on here. <laughs> Why won't they hatch? Hatch. Hatch. Eggs. Hatch. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, guys. We'll have to figure this out. Oh, wait. The change. So maybe now they will hatch. Okay, now let's try. There we go. So we just have to wait, I guess. So they hatch. So we're going to imprint on that one. Cancel imprint on that one cancel and now one is a boy one is a female so it did tell us what was what so that is pretty cool now we do got to get these things over to the may wing here and fill it up with meat so it does take care of them so pull the meat out of here throw it in the may wing there we go now these babies should start eating once they get close enough to this thing so get in here uh, is nursing on oh we do have to turn on nursing Nursing, where are you? Uh, enable nursing, feeding baby chop. There, so the nipples are on, and these things should start eating. We're just gonna turn these off now. Disable following. Disable the following once again. And we're, I did see them eat, but I just wanna make sure. So we're at 1188 for food. We just wanna see this thing take a bite so we do know that this May Wing is actually feeding the dinosaur. Because if we walk away, and it keeps dropping down and this thing starves, it will die and that would just be a bad thing. But hurry up. So we're at 1170, 1171, 1170. Come on, take a bite, buddy. Take a bite. You know, see if you're eating. Uh, you're a little closer so we know. So we need this one. Maybe I should just bring them closer just for the sake of it. Just because. <laughs> Come on. That one, that back one bit. He had a bite. Are we lagging? How come he won't move? How can we not move and we'll make you a little bit uh, closer, Lois. Okay. Uh, we'll check your food again. 1190. So I must have missed you take a bite there, but let's just move you closer just because. Come on, get in closer here. There you go. Close enough. Good enough. Stop, stop, stop. Disable. So they are eating by the looks of things. Uh, 1174, 1173. 
It should be chomping out of the meat that we do have in our May wing. And our babies will be good up until juvenile, which is 10%. And that 10%. There we go, that one just ate. And so did our little Shadow Mang guy there. But he is on the trough, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, uh, they will begin once they hit 10% juvenile stage to start eating off our troughs, and then we can just pot up or do whatever you want to do with our May Wing, as long as you don't take it out and get it killed accidentally. Because <laughs> that happens quite a bit in ARC, so you do got to be careful. But yeah, our baby Rexes are hatched. They are growing. We have another... 9 hours and 16 minutes before we can breed again and pop out some more eggs. But we do have another female. Once it's grown, we can begin breeding it as well. So nice. Alrighty. Well, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. Uh, everything went pretty good in it. Nothing really went wrong. Nothing died. Uh, we didn't glitch out or lose anything. So that is a really good thing. It is kind of rare for that to happen when it comes to official servers and server spikes and lag and anything else that could come into play. You know, just straight out end up getting arced. And arced is when something happens out of your control that you just die and lose stuff <laughs> so just call it getting art anyway thanks for watching hit that subscribe button like button all that good stuff for liking a video keep along with the series and again should we start a modded series let me know in the comments below and we'll catch you on the next one rabbit out <laughs>